Hi everybody, here's how to get started quickly on Confer Zoom. So Zoom is a great tool for meeting live with your students. Um, the best place to start if you're a CCC faculty member, you get a Zoom Pro account for free. Start at ConferZoom.org. Click on sign up and fill out the form to get your brand spanking new Zoom Pro account. Woohoo! It'll be pretty fast and um, with that account you will then sign in. Give me a second while I sign in. Okay, here I am signed in. Now the easiest way, in my humble opinion, to use Zoom is to, when you're signed in, come over to your profile. What you're looking for is the link to your personal meeting ID. So in my case, it's this one. It's going to be a zoom.us. It's going to be a URL with CCC Confer Zoom.us followed by 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 digits. <laughs> um, those can be customized. You also have the option to create a personal link. So it's an alias to that room. You can customize that personal link so that it's a unique URL that takes your students to your Zoom room. Think of your Zoom room as your online office. So as long as people have clicked that link at the same time, then you'll be connected in the same Zoom room, the same webinar. You do not have to go and schedule the meeting beforehand. You don't have to go and make sure that you're there at the right time. It's just like a, a virtual office that if folks are in it at the same time, they'll be connected. So I'm going to go ahead and copy that link. I could have copied this one. It's the exact same. It's an alias. So actually, if I hit customize, you'll see there's the opportunity to, there's the link that it's going to connect them to and the opportunity to customize it. Um, now, when I go over to um, my Canvas course, for example, I'll show you how you can add that to the home page of your course. Okay, so here I am in Canvas. You can see I already did this. Um, I'm going to go ahead and edit that page. And here's where I can paste that link that I created um, or that I copied. And I'm going to go ahead and link to URL and then paste the URL here to make it a hyperlink. Now you can tell students exactly what time you're planning on being in that room. And then you know that it'll be synchronous. You guys will be in there at the, exact, at the same time. Um, so hit save, and in my opinion, that's the best way, the easiest, simplest way to set up Zoom and to share the link with your students. Now students will click the link, and here's what happens when they do that. Same thing will happen for when you do it. Um, you're going to hit open URL Zoom launcher, and it's going to start our meeting. Students will have the opportunity to join with phone, by, via phone, so they can call in and put in the meeting ID or they join with computer audio if they have that set up. By the way, this is also available on their mobile device. So if they were to click that link from the Zoom Pro app or the Zoom um, app on their phone, then they'd also be able to um, join from their phone audio as well. And we are going to say join with computer audio. And now I'm talking. I have the option to start my video. So that's exciting. <laughs> I can stop my video. Um, but yeah, I could share as more students join, no one is joining me right now, I wish they would, um, then I'd have more video um, little windows pop up on the screen. Anybody who doesn't have a video, a webcam, no big deal. Um, it would just show the default um, little image that you saw there or um, kind of the empty uh, profile icon there. Um, but there's a chat window so we can chat together, text for any students who don't have a mic, don't have a mic chat here. Um, that's all I'm going to do. You can share your screen. That allows you to share like a PowerPoint presentation. You could lecture through a PowerPoint presentation this way, but basically you hit share screen and you choose which monitor you're going to show and it's going to show um, the screen that has the PowerPoint on it, right? You can pull up your PowerPoint. It's going to show anything on your computer screen. Um, what else is there to show you here? That's all I'm going to show you so I can keep it um, short and sweet. Um, I'll link to other Zoom resources, but in my opinion, that is the quickest way to get started. Oh, by the way, this your computer mic, you can see how it's detecting my audio. Um, if you're muted, you won't be, um, your students won't be hearing you on Zoom, so make sure that you're not muted there. So anyway, that's a quick, very quick um, how-to on Zoom. You're going to end the meeting this way, end meeting for all. 
But now I don't have to reschedule a new Zoom room to have another session. So Wednesday at 2 p.m., I can click on the same link and it'll still be there and we can go in and meet together in Zoom. So that was getting started on Zoom. The best place to start is that profile at is getting your account at conferzoom.org. So I'll link to other resources as well to help you get, help you get started. Thanks for watching.